blind nuts are used to mechanically fasten the pole's slip joints. Once the slip joint between two modules has been fully compressed using two two-ton lever chain hoists, two blind nut assemblies are installed. Before drilling the holes for the blind nuts, ensure that the assembled pole is at a good working height. RS recommends using a cordless drill with a Lennox Arbor pilot bit and an MK Morse carbide tipped hole saw, equipped with a backhoe ejector spring. If using a drill with a hammer setting, turn the hammer feature off. This will result in a sharper, cleaner hole finish in the pole wall. At the drill here pre-printed marking, drill a 1 and 1 8 inch or 29 millimeter hole through the tip of the inner module at the end of the slot in the outer module closest to the base of the pole. The blind nut hole should be drilled as close to the pole base end of the slot as possible. While carefully holding on to the retention cable attached to the blind nut, insert the nut into the drilled hole. Using the retention cable, maneuver the blind nut inside the pole and ensure it is positioned lengthwise, parallel with the axis of the pole. If the blind nut is not oriented along the length of the pole, it may damage the inner pole wall when tightening. To assist in proper blind nut positioning, apply tension to the cable and hold it tight at 90 degrees up or down, perpendicular to the length of the pole. Thread the bolt into the blind nut by hand. Once the bolt is threaded hand tight, continue holding the retention cable and finish tighten it with a 1 and 1 8 inch socket or crescent wrench to complete the installation of the blind nut assembly. Once the bolt is tight, the retention cable may be trimmed. Repeat on the opposite side of the pole. A common mistake is to drill on the same side of the slot as the hole that was just drilled. This is incorrect. Make sure to always drill at the base end of the slot, closest to the pole base, at the drill here pre-printed marking. Use maximum drill RPM and light drill pressure to let the hole saw do the work. When drilling, counter rotations with the drill will ensure that the hole plug can be easily removed from the hole saw. Take caution not to push too hard on the drill, especially at the moment the hole saw is breaking through the inside edge of the pole wall. Insert the blind nut into the drilled hole, tension the cable perpendicular to the pole length and thread the bolt in by hand, again ensuring that the blind nut is seated along the length of the pole. Tighten with a socket or crescent wrench. Once the bolt is tight, the retention cable may be trimmed.